Hi, I'm Ruth Anslow. I'm Amy Anslow. And we are sisters and co-founders of Hisby Food CIC. Hisby stands for how it should be and we are reinventing supermarkets for the 21st century by using a model that puts fairness, sustainability and ethics at the heart of everything we do. This is our pilot store and this store's been open for nearly 19 months. It's been a chance to test the concept, uh, make sure customers get it, work out what range we should be selling, uh, making sure the ethics are coming across strongly enough and now our mission is to roll out what we've done here locally into a regional chain first of all and then uh, nationally over the next 30 years. We think that Brighton's a great place for the pilot store because it's pretty advanced in a lot of the trends that we represent so local food, um, the organic food movement, um, issues of sustainability and fair trade are pretty well understood in this city. It's kind of ahead of the curve um, in a lot of these trends so it's a great place to start because these trends are growing nationally um, and it's, uh, it, it seemed like the right place to be. It's all about people using their food shopping every week to vote for how it should be. When you spend money here, you're voting for how a supermarket should be and we're using your money to make the food industry fairer and more sustainable. Crowdfunding was a really important part of uh, the way that we funded this first store. We had to raise £200,000, we were a risky startup, a social enterprise, so uh, we relied on crowdfunding to get, start getting the money in at the beginning and giving uh, local people an opportunity to uh, contribute to making this happen and becoming the store that they wanted to see. Customers are one of our most important stakeholders and keeping them happy and finding out how we can do better for them in their store is really crucial to us. We had been really inspired by Anita Roddick and her work with The Body Shop and the business books that she wrote around doing business for good, doing business with, with uh, ethics and we wondered what that kind of approach would look like applied to retailing food. So Anita, uh, you know, is, is, is a hero of Brighton because the first body shop was in Brighton so it was a real strong connection for us to want to kind of follow in her footsteps but to do something uh, around reinventing food retail. I'm really looking forward to doing a session at the Brighton Summit about doing what's important to you, doing what makes you happy and, and what you love because ultimately I think that's what life's all about. I think if we can all articulate our vision of how the world is and set out a dream of how it should be and follow that dream, then the world will be a better place. At the Brighton Summit, I'm going to be talking in a session about crowdfunding and giving some tips and advice on how to do it successfully, what worked for us, what didn't, and what we'd do differently next time. And hopefully that will be helpful to people who are looking to uh, raise some money in that way. What's great about the Brighton Summit is that it gives us business owners a chance to all get together. Often we are so wrapped up in our businesses and what we're doing that we don't make time for that. So to have a day where we get together, get inspired by each other and share our stories is, is just a great way to spend the day. We've been to the Brighton Summit before, got loads of value out of it. There's always great speakers, really interesting workshops. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to the sessions that we're participating in and we're looking forward to everybody else's sessions too. See you there.